Hi guys, welcome back to Charlie Mayer camping vlog. As you see, I've made my way back to cruise, despite the fact that it's uh, backwards, that's just the camera angle that we're doing it. And excuse the road noise, because if I actually move this microphone up here, it might be a bit better. We're on the main road in Douglas, in County Cork. So a couple of weeks back, I interviewed Ed, and I showed you the selection of scooters and bikes that the guys have here at Cruise in Douglas and Cork. And then the following video was me reviewing the kr2 my e-bike which i got from cruise i mentioned two other models in that video and one of them just happened to be the belize and somebody said oh aaron could you do a review of the belize e-bike so i said i will someday i'll pop down to the guys and i'll do a review of that bike that day is today ed is dealing with a customer inside shifting a couple of scooters and then i'm gonna put the helmet on run the high vis run a camera and take a spin around douglas on the Belize e-bike from Cruise. So you guys asked me if I would come and review the Belize. Now, I have since found out that my KR2 is, I thought it was the bottom range, it's actually the middle bike, there's one down, and this is the top range of e-bike that the guys do. So let me turn the camera and show you the different features on this. One of the features is, it's a six-speed bike. Every other feature is the same. It folds away the same. You put away the pedals. You can take out the saddle there. You bend the bike. You bend the handlebars there. You bend the bike there and it clips in. The only difference with this is, like a normal bike, it's got six gears. And the way the gears work are, you want to go up the gears, you push this button. You want to go down the gears, and it's like a normal bike, the chain will move up and down depending on what you want to pedal at or what strength you want to pedal at. Another difference with this one is the battery is in here, where on my KR2, the battery is here. It's there, you can charge it here, you can take it out, you can charge it at home, and it's well protected from the elements with that rubber, let's call it a bonnet. Everything else is adjustable, it'll give you your seat adjustable there you can adjust the seat back there and then this is basically the same controls as on the kr2 the difference being let's just power it up this bike doesn't have a backlight it just has the reflector which is there but if you're wearing one of the smart helmets or one of the helmets that come with lights that shouldn't be a problem on this no matter what gear you're in you still have the one two and three which is the gear change and then you go down three two one and zero you're just in bike mode you could be in third and one and two you can be in third and three you can be in fourth and three you can be in any mixture here and any gear here to get pedal assist so what i'll do is i'll go now and i'll stick on my helmet i'll stick on a high vis jacket and we'll put a camera that you can see how everything works here and we'll take it for a spin by the way 20 inch wheels as opposed to the smaller wheels that are on my bike and another thing i meant to say to you to turn on the light you just hold on the plus button for changing the gears the light comes on and of course it has the horn so i'm going to take myself inside put on a high vis jacket put on my helmet uh change cameras and we're going to take this for a spin around douglas and cork Another function that this bike has, which I meant to say to you, is a hill start. For example, if I just actually tilt the camera up for a second, there's a little rever here, which if you're on a hill and you're finding it hard to, 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 um, to pedal, as long as you've got the power on, when you do this, that will help you pedal, but then you let it go as soon as you start pedaling. It's of no other function. So, I'm going to click this thing into a high gear, which is fourth gear. I'm on number one on the electric assist. Fourth gear on the synchro gear that you would have on your bike. This is beautiful. Um, I'm going to turn the lights on, even though I have my high vis jacket on. You just hold down the plus and there's the lights on. Let's go for a spin around Douglas, shall we? 
Oh, what I didn't do was put my indicators onto the handlebars to make the indicators work on my helmet. Okay, let's put this up to number two, shall we? So I'm in six on the ordinary gears and number two on the electric assist. Good driving position. I'll just show you how fast or how slow I'm driving when I'm pedaling and I'm doing 19 kilometers. 19 kilometers, you just have to keep the crankshaft where the pedals are rolling. And once you do that, everything else is easy peasy. But I do like the fact that you have this assist on a hill or if I stop here and I'm in sixth gear, which is a heavy gear to start off on, you just do this, the motor kicks in and then away you go. I'm riding around Douglas and I'm only in second assist. So we'll stop here and again I'm going to use this I like this function when the lights go and it takes off I like that function we're going to go left here at these lights a lot of traffic lights in around Douglas arm out because I've no indicators on I like the sixth gear on this because it's just a good pedaling gear I'm gonna move out again guys I'm not pedaling fast let me show you the speed that I'm pedaling at here and I'm doing 18 kilometers just in number two. And I'm in sixth gear on this, which I'm gonna change down to two. And you can see I'm still pedaling 18 kilometers. And I'm nearly back at the shop. Like I said, I do like this function. If you are stopped on a hill in traffic and rather than standing on the pedals you literally rev that just for a split second and it'll help you kick off so this is 20 inch wheels no backlight six gears pedal assist and then the exact same functions here it does have a front light indicate because I'm going across here and a reminder I've got my helmet on I've got my high-vis jacket on and I've got my lights on the one thing I'd say from this cycle it's a lot of traffic lights and buildings I've had no need around Douglas to get into third gear on the pedal assist. I've made it back to base to cruise at Douglas and Cork. What do I think of this bike? I love my KR2. I'm going to be honest, there is a difference with the bigger wheels. I do like the pedal assist on this on a hill or in a stopped position. I do like if you're just riding it as a bike, you've got six gears. This one is 1650. 
where I think my one, the KR2, is 1450. So there's a hundred quid of a difference between the KR2 and this one. But I gotta be honest, as much as I love my KR2, I did enjoy the ride on that. Okay, she's only got front lights, no back lights. She's got a good place where the battery is concealed. I do like the fact that she's a six speed bike. I do like the way you change up the six gears. I, everything else is still the same, but I'm sure you'll agree she's a beautiful looking bike. And it's available from Cruz and Douglas and Cork. All the contact details will come up at the end of the video. Give Ed a shout. The guy knows his stuff. He'll answer any of your questions about the three models. Next week's video will be the final bike review because I'm going to try the next bike. I think it's called the Cadiz, which is the bottom range bike. That'll be next week's video. Take care.